The Formula Drift Championship is here on the streets of Long Beach as we made our way through the top 16 and now enter the great eight. Last year's champion and runner-up Frederick Osbo and Ken Gushi are still in it to win it, but Chelsea Denofa has been surging by taking out two-time champ Chris the Force Forsberg. It's down to the wire as we kick off round one and continue the action on the beautiful streets of Long Beach. The weather is holding out, but will the drivers step up? Only here on Formula Drift. Hello Drift fans and welcome to the continuation of round one here at the streets of Long Beach for UTI Formula Drift presented by Blackview, the world's premier drifting championship. I'm Jared Dienda. Well, the fans came out in droves despite the rain and so much racing over the years has happened here on the streets of Long Beach, but this weekend it belongs to us, that being Formula Drift. Before we find out who gets on the podium, let's throw it down to my co-host, Ryan Sage. All right, well, thanks, Jared. We're down here on the streets of Long Beach with a massive crowd on hand, some great action that we've seen so far. And it reminds us of one very special feature of this track, the walls. Count them. You've got one, two, three, four, five different locations where drivers have the possibility of wrecking and ruining their day and possibly the rest of the season. And that's why this track is one of the most challenging in the country. So lots of action left to come as we move on in to the Great Eight. I'm Frederick Ospo, and this is your Black View course preview here in Long Beach. You line up, first gear, dump the clutch, first, second, third, snappy initiation, back on the gas, all the way out to the first wall. It's a blind corner, and they want us to get on those rumble strips and push out and graze the outside wall. So you're kind of just going by muscle memory and momentum at that point to know where the car's got to be. And then transition back to the first outer clip wall. Try to drag bumper or scrape bumper there and then extend that past the clipping wall into that next zone so it's a lot easier to come across the second outer clip zone. Kind of the scary one where if you misjudge and hit the back end, you might rotate and uh, clip the front end on the next wall after that. But skim that outside wall with the rear end, uh, shoot towards the judging stand, out outer zone number three, and uh, go towards turn 11, transition again to the right, the slowest corner in uh, Formula Drift, turn 11. Brake, brake, back on the gas, through the inner clip, and boom, that's your Black View course preview. Drifting is the only motorsport in the world that is based on judging, so let's break down how that works. In head-to-head -head battles, the lead driver is supposed to run a specific judging line with as much angle as possible. The lead driver is setting the pace, but the chase driver is supposed to utilize the lead driver as a moving clipping point. Wherever the lead goes, the chase should go too. After two runs with each driver leading once, the driver that was the most consistent, most aggressive, and was able to show clear dominance over the other driver will win the matchup. For rules, criteria, and more information on Formula Drift, head to www.formulad.com. Well, Ryan, I can't wait for this. We have perfect weather, great conditions, and we're about to see a lot of smoke. Our first battle on deck, our defending champion, Frederick Osbo, going against the neon beast from the bay, Matt Field. Well, Matt Field looked incredible in his first run in the top 16, but now going up against the champ, Frederick Osbo, whose main thing is just being so consistent. Here we go, Frederick Osbo initiating. Look at that, Matt Field actually even a little earlier there. Matt Field drops in a formation. Good job by Osbo, and Matt Field cannot be shaken. Nice job by Osbo out front, getting deep into that touch and go and that first and second outer zone. But Matt Field staying tight right here, putting on a battle with Frederick Osbo as he tucks up on the inside. Look at that, Matt Field is right there. Everywhere Osbo went, Matt Field was up in his business. Well, Matt Field is pushing strong right here against a champion and making his name known here in front of 20,000 people at Long Beach. All right, well, Matt Field is going to be out front. Guess who's going to be in his rearview mirror? Frederick Osbo, again, the defending champion. Can Matt Field take him out? Osbo's got to push hard. That was a great chase run by Matt Field. And look at Field in the lead. Nice angle there. Oh, and then snaps it back around and makes a fatal mistake. Oh, man, unfortunately, Matt Field just pushing too hard. You see him maxing out the angle. Rotating, Frederick Osbo chucks a deuce, says peace, 
goes off to the races and will advance on to the final four as we take a look. The Universal Technical Institute judging results, Osbo gets the win. Wow, Matt had an amazing chase on me and I was really worried uh, about losing this battle because he's one of those up and coming drifters. But he couldn't hold it together for his lead. Spun, we move on. Formula Drift on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Universal Technical Institute. Chosen by industry, ready to work. By Blackview, over the cloud. And by Hankook Tire, driving emotion. Welcome back to the streets of Long Beach for round one here at Universal Technical Institute Formula Drift presented by Blackview. We're only one battle in and our defending champion Frederick Osbo advances onto the final four. Who's going to join him out of this pair, Ryan Turk or Odie Bakshis, Ryan? Well, Ryan Turk and Odie Bakshis, both contenders for the championship meeting here in the great eight. One driver's going to move on. Ryan Turk takes the lead. Well, both these guys saw the podium here last year. They want to better get top of the box. Here we go. Ryan Turk leads. Odie Bakshis giving chase. Good initiation by both of these fellas. Getting out to that touch and go. Nice job. Ryan Turk starting off strong, but Odie Bakhti staying with him as Ryan Turk goes right up against that outer zone number two. Great job by both drivers. Backing it in and slamming his bumper, but continues on course as Odie Bakhti takes out that final front flip. Well, clean driving pretty much all the way through the course by both drivers, except for right here, Odie makes a noticeable mistake taking out the front clip. Well, what's the 4 and one It's on the roof of Ryan Turk. Is he going to take out Odie Bakhti? Odie, who finished second last year. Turk got third, who's going to advance on to the final four. Here we go. Odie initiates into the first turn. Ryan Turk eyeing him up, looking for an area to attack here as Odie tries to go deep into that first touch and go and the outer zone. Nice job, 62.8 miles per hour. Going sideways, look at that. Turk actually getting deeper. Remember, utilize that lead car as a moving clippy point run. Now finally, the last corner here. Turk kind of tightens it up. Oh, and shuts it down, leaving the door open for Odie Bakshis. Oh, and look at this, dead in the water like a buoy in the Pacific Ocean. Unfortunately, Ryan Turk takes himself out. Take a look at the Universal Technical Institute judging results. Odie gets the win. For top eight, Turk led, um, and I have to follow. Everything went smooth, kind of like I anticipated. And when it was time to switch, I, my turn to lead, I knew I was going to have to like really go hard and get out to the outside zones. Turk's a great driver. He fills those zones. I was able to pull it off and uh, you know, grab the win, moving on to top four. Here we go, halfway through the great eight of veteran of the sport, Ken Gushi, second overall last year. Can he take out the fierce angle, the smoke that exudes from that Sylvie S15 of Get Nuts Laboratory head scientist, Forrest Wang. Well, here we go, big battle here in the great eight. Ken Gushi coming down into initiation. Forrest Wang trying to chase him down as both drivers shoot out to the touch and go. The two Jay-Zs underneath the hoods of these vehicles right now. Ken Gushi firing on all cylinders right now. 62 miles per hour and nice into the rear clipping zone. Well, with Ken Gushi hitting the first and second outer zone and maintaining good proximity on that last inside clip. It's going to be an advantage for him going into run number one. You see how much angle Forrest Wang has, but in that chase position, you need to gain that proximity. As you see him wide swing around that final clip, he's really going to need to step it up out front. But remember, Ken Gushi second overall last year. He wants to get back on the podium. Well, here we go. Forrest Wang taking the lead, coming down into initiation. Let's watch the angle here. Big angle on initiation by Forrest Wang. Now shooting out to that touch and go right there, maxing out the angle. Ken Gushi not phased like we saw previously from Michael SN. Look at that max to the max. Too far, turns it to 11 and spins out. Well, we talked about the angle from Forrest Wang. This was a case of it being too much. You can see he spins out in front of Ken Gushi, and Gushi gives him a little love tap. Going to the Universal Technical Institute judging results, the Goosh gets the win. Yeah, Forrest has been on fire all weekend. He's been, you know, the only one with that much angle close to the wall. So on my lead lab, Ben, my spotter, told me, hey, you got to mimic exactly what he's been doing all weekend in your lead lab. I did just that. It felt great. On the follow lap, he told me I should keep my distance when he transitions. And I almost got caught up with it, but he started to rotate, and I saw that. Couldn't get on the brakes fast enough. I ended up hitting him. But uh, what can you say? It's been a cra that was a crazy run. Uh, now I'm fired up, finally awake, ready for the top four. Our final battle of the great eight, we've seen Gushi, Osbo, Odie Bakshis, and now one of these gentlemen will join him in the final four. Von Gittin Jr., a former champion, that Monster Energy Nitto Tire Mustang RTR, or the BC Racing BMW on GT radials of Chelsea Denofa. Well, Denofa is on fire, but going up against a former champ in Von Gittin Jr. is no easy task. Getting out to the touch and go with both of the drivers under the bridge, the first rear clipping zone. 
Could have been closer, but still, great angle for both the drivers. Look at Chelsea right there. Denofa doing a tremendous job in the chase position, and right here, putting some emphasis on it, staying very, very close to Gittin as they cross the finish line. Denofa is very aware of the competitor he's going against in Von Gittin Jr. He's going to throw it down, and he knows he can follow him comfortably, and he does just that. Chelsea Denofa will now lead. Can Chelsea Denofa take out another champion? I say another because he previously took out Chris Forsberg. Well, here goes Denofa on initiation. Little slowdown in forward momentum right there. Gittin has to make an adjustment, but Denofa still able to get out to the touch and go. Good job by Denofa. Vaughn Gittin Jr., he keeps close proximity. Look at that again, lifting off that front wheel. Man, Chelsea Denofa is just on point right now. Big battle here, and now some separation towards the end as Gittin goes wide, allowing Denofa to gain a little bit of distance on him in the last corner. Some aggressive driving. Obviously, they're heading their way into the final four. As we take a look at the Universal Technical Institute judging results, Denofa gets the win. Man, two champions in a row. I'm losing my mind right now. I'm feeling good, though. The track is fantastic right now. Our setup is on point. You know, there's, we got a little bit more still even. We're, we're having a blast, and I'm, I'm excited about it. Formula Drift on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Nexen Tire. Driving tomorrow by FormulaD.com. For merchandise, tickets, and series information, head to FormulaD.com. And by the U.S. Air Force. Aim high. Welcome back to Ideal Conditions here on the streets of Long Beach for round one of UTI Formula Drift presented by Blackview. The sold-out crowd awaits to find out will Frederick Osbo win once again here on the streets of Long Beach. First, let's go behind the smoke. I love Long Beach. You know, this is the heart of California. You're at the beach, it's a city, it's downtown. This is where most of our major sponsors are based. This is the ultimate season opener. Doing well here sets the tone for the rest of the season. Coming in here last year, I wasn't really confident, but winning the first event really gave me the confidence we needed to, to push hard throughout the season. And I mean, that ultimately gave us a championship. For me, drifting is life, you know? I feel like I was sent here to drift. It's the first thing I think of in the morning. It's the last thing I think of in the evening. It's my life. And you know, it's given me the most memorable moments of my life. It's given me great friends across the world. Um, it's the best thing that could happen to me, I think. Coming in as a defending champ, you automatically have a big target on your back. And I can definitely sense that. You know, all of these guys, they want to crush us. But I like that feeling, you know? That feeling of pressure, that feeling of being a one to beat, that's where you want to be. Well, Odie Bakshi wants to get redemption over Frederick Osbo. Frederick Osbo was the victor here last year. We saw them do battle in the finals. Who is going to advance on to the finals now? Frederick Osbo, Odie Bakshi, Frederick out front. Osbo swings out of the gate. Odie Bakshi right there on initiation as both drivers come into turn nine, wrapping back around. And nice job by Frederick Osbo getting out to that touch and go. You see Frederick Osbo, his car just settled, squatting down, getting into those second rear clipping zone. Nice job by Osbo. And so far, so good by Odie. Falls back just a little bit here, but a pretty decent chase run as well, mimicking Osbo pretty much the entire way through the course. Both these guys having gone against each other before, they know how the cars react, they know where they're gonna go, they've seen it here on the streets of Long Beach. Let's alternate the order. Odie out front, Osbo giving chase. Leaving the chicane is Odie Bocchis as both drivers come down that infamous back straight. Odie into initiation, Frederick Osbo right there. Look at that, picking up the speed is Osbo getting on the door of Odie Bocchis. Nice job. Great job by Odie, trying to get deep into that second outer zone, but look at Osbo, so close there, then backs off for a second, then finds another area to attack on the inside. Man, this is a tough one to call for the judges. You see this under the bridge right here is where you see Osbo surge forward, then back off. Let's go to the Universal Technical Institute judging results. And they are going at it again. Like I said, Ryan, that was a tough one to call. So. Don't leave in the judges' hands. Here we go. Osbo will lead. Odie will give chase. Definitely agree on that call. Now both guys looking to find a clear winner here. Who's it going to be, Osbo or Odie? Oh, a big gap already out of the gate, but Osbo slowing down on the speed. Gets to the touch and go. Look at Odie dropping into formation. Very precise in the chase position by Odie, picking his areas on the course where he can attack, like that spot right there, backs off, and then another area right here on the inside. 
Man, I gotta say, Ryan, there is no clear advantage between these two drivers. This is the one more time battle, and Odie is applying the pressure. Osbo's putting his car in all the right spots. Let's alternate the order. Odie out front. Osbo giving chase. And look at that. Osbo creeping off the line so he can stay as close as he possibly can to Odie Bakhti's on initiation. Odie throws it in. Osbo right there. Let's see how they go out of that touch and go. Nice job, nice and fluid, getting that first rear clipping zone. Odie puts it there, but Osbo a little shallow. Osbo now starting to close the door again, finding another area of attack here. As Odie wraps around this last inside clip, he goes a little bit wide, and Osbo tucks his nose in. Nice job by both the guys. Ryan, again, another difficult decision here. I like where this is going. We're seeing some phenomenal battles. Now, the Universal Technical Institute judging results. Osbo gets the win 2-1. to one. Oh my god, that was tense. Odie owns this track, and we had a really hard-fought battle last year. Now we went one more time, and we took the win. Feels amazing. Here we go, Ryan, to the other side of the Final Four bracket. Ken Gushi and Chelsea Denofa. An unbelievable force here this weekend on the streets of Long Beach. Ken Gushi will lead. Denofa will give chase. Well, imagine if Denofa gets through Gushi here. He'll have gone through two champions and the runner-up in last year's championship. And all those guys, veterans from day one. So much equity behind the wheel. Look at this. He is applying the pressure, but Gushi's putting his car nice on that first rear clipping zone. Amazing lead run right here by Ken Gushi. Just a little bit off that second outer zone, but Denofa Nofa found a few areas where he could attack on the inside and right here across the finish line. Just kissing that front clip. You got to treat that like a wall, and they do just that. That wouldn't do some major damage to the vehicle. Denofa, man, right on the side of the SR by Toyota 86. Denofa will now lead in that BMW. Gucci giving chase. Well, Chelsea Denofa proving to be a handful here as he takes on Ken Gucci, but look at Gucci on initiation staying door to door. A dog fight, a street fight, whatever you want to call it. Denofa is in it to win it. Ken Gushi applying the pressure. Nice job. Nice job by Denofa. A little bit of a flub right there on the front two wheels, but then staying consistent as he wraps around this last inside clip with Ken Gushi in tow. Some people have never heard of Chelsea Denofa, but now he's making his presence felt. If he gets the victory, he's getting his first ever Formula Drift podium. As we take a look at the Universal Technical Institute judging results, Denofa gets the win. Man, fantastic run. Gushi had a little bit of an e-brake drag on the front straight. I got through it. Drove up to his door as good as possible. Try to stay on him. Vice versa, the same thing. I heard his car the whole way. I think I just was a little bit closer in front of the judges, and it gave us the, gave me the advantage. It's close run for sure. A cool, calm, and collected Chelsea Denofa goes against our defending champion of Frederick Osbo in the finals when we return. Formula Drift on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Universal Technical Institute. Chosen by industry, ready to work. By FormulaD.com. For merchandise, tickets, and series information, head to FormulaD.com. By Nitto Tire, fueled by enthusiasts. And by Blackview, over the cloud. Welcome back, Drift fans. The finals are here for round one of UTI Formula Drift presented by Blackview here on the streets of Long Beach. Ryan, I gotta say, arguably, some of the best drifting we've ever seen, and the finals are set. Frederick Osbo, our defending champion, with a target on his back, going against Chelsea Denofa, who's never seen a carbon fiber trophy, the signature trophy of Formula Drift. Here we go. Let's send it here in the finals. Frederick Osbo out of the gate. Chelsea Denofa chasing him down. Denofa has momentum in his side, but Frederick Osbo is the champion. Frederick Osbo getting out to the touch and go. Chelsea Denofa bashing the back wing off of his vehicle. He is going for it. Right up on the inside is Chelsea Denofa, door to door with Frederick Osbo. Incredible drifting here. Denofa not giving an inch. Leaving everything on the track and even into the door. Frederick Osbo, look at this as we ride shotgun with Chelsea Denofa. Both of them slapping the wall. Unbelievable driving ride. Aerodynamics unfazed as the wing goes shredded into the wall. And here we go, run number two. Chelsea Denofa saying, say howdy, get rowdy. He's living up to his motto, SHGR. Here we go, Denofa out front, Osbo giving chase. Both drivers pushing hard as Frederick Oswald tries to take an inside position against Denofa, but Denofa with crazy angle on touch and go and outer zone one. Once again, Denofa taps the wall. Osbo oh. diving in, rubbing that next tire on the door of the BMW. Ryan, do you think we have a victor? Well, it's a great job by Osbo to push here at this section of the course to try to put some emphasis on it, but did he make a mistake right there and fall off? Here it is, the Universal Technical Institute judging results, and Chelsea Denofa gets the win.
And with that, our podium is made as Ken Gushi gets third place, Frederick Oslo second, and Chelsea Denelfa stands on top at first. Well, that's it for us here on the streets of Long Beach. Ladies, you guys have fun? Yes. Well, they're going to be on the podium joining their drivers, including Chelsea Denofa, who gets his first ever podium in its first place. But get this, it's a repeat for Frederick Osbo and Ken Gushi. Those are one and two in the championship last year. Can they repeat this season again? Ryan Sage is with our winner now. All right, well, thanks, Jared. I am here with your winner, Chelsea Denofa. Now, Chelsea, an incredible afternoon. I mean, you battled through one of the toughest brackets, including not one, not two, but three past champions to take your first ever win in Formula Drift. How did you pull the whole thing together? I mean, we've been working on this setup in this car for a very long time. We've only driven BMWs and Formula D since the beginning, and we've been just thrashing as much as we can to get a car that will continuously make it through the ranks. We've been failing at that a lot. For the last five years, we've had 25 mechanical failures out of 28 events. <laughs> so it's like it, the car kept running. I kept driving it as hard as I could. The crew kept working as hard as we could. And it feels amazing, man. I, I mean, I was crying earlier. And I was like, I haven't cried in happiness, like, I don't think ever in my life. So <laughs> it just feels amazing. Well, congratulations on your win. You're an inspiration to drifters all around the globe. Congratulations, Chelsea, you know, for your winner here at Long Beach round one here at the 2016 Formula Drift presented by Blackview Championship. For everybody at Formula Drift and Jared Dienda, I am Ryan Sage. Next stop, Road Atlanta on the way. Well, with one stop in the books, here's a look at the Formula Drift Championship standings. Chelsea Denofa, Frederick Osbo, and Ken Gushi are 1, 2, and 3. In the Auto Manufacturers Championship, SR by Toyota sits out front, with BMW and Ford rounding out second and third. In Tire Manufacturers Championship, Nexon is in first place, with GT Radial second and Falcon Tire in third. Well, that's a wrap for us here in Long Beach. We'll see you in Atlanta, but first, we leave you with some sights and sounds from here on the streets of Long Beach. In association with Formula Drift, this has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.